Yo, what is up everyone? Bolt Gaming here today, and today I'm going to be, as you guys saw by the thumbnail, showing you guys how to take very good pictures in Roblox. So, this works for pretty much any game. Um, also, ignore the lag. I don't know why I have so much lag right now. I don't have anything else other than Discord and uh, Google Open, but I don't even have like any tabs except one tab on Google Open. So, I don't know what the lag's from, but it's... Hopefully gonna go away at some point. I don't I don't really know why it is. Just getting low frames per seconds and I'm not sure why. Uh anyway, um I'm gonna be showing you guys how to take really good pictures of your car. So definitely the first thing you wanna do is you wanna install RoPro, which uh you I don't have a video on this, but I'll have a video up here of a, another person who shows you how to get RoPro. As RoPro is what allows the the tail lights, headlights to like reflect off the ground like this. So that is the significant thing about RoPro. It do, it like redoes the lighting. So let's say let me see if I come in here. It does kind of mess with the lighting though in like the wrong ways sometimes. Like look at this. I I don't know why the rest of this is all dark and then at corners. Well, it was light. It does mess with uh, your lighting a little bit, but it's not that bad. I mean. If if you really want pictures like that look super good, oh my goodness, this lag, like this, then uh, you know it's kind of worth it's kind of worth it. So once you get RoPro installed, you want to go to the futuristic lighting and then join Greenville. Uh, and then for this, I suggest uh finding paint color that you'd like on your car. Of course, I have I forgot what it forgot what that color. I'll have the RGB card for this color up on screen, but uh. It's a pretty nice color, and what I did is I just messed with it when I put it on. So as you can see, it's uh, it's decently shiny. That's because I messed with it uh, as I had put it on. So you can also mess with the uh, the colors too, like the flakes, the whatever, and uh, it it'll look pretty pretty nice when you're done. So for now. I'm going to use the 4GT as my little car uh, that I'm going to take pictures of because obviously this car is so, uh, probably the best looking one I have right now. Uh, I have some other good ones, but like they don't have really the, the paint that I have on this one. Um, I'm kind of too lazy to go figure out what paint to put on it. The only one that would kind of be like that would be this car and this, not this car, this car. But I don't know, I, I personally like this one more. So... What you want to do is you want to go into free cam, and if you have a mouse, I suggest using that, um, like plugging it in, using that, because it makes it a lot easier when you want to do pictures and stuff. So, what you want to do is you just want to find a good camera angle. You you can go, like, anywhere if you want. So, let's see. For me, I'd probably go up here and then zoom in. Uh, you can zoom in as much as you want. It doesn't quite matter how much you zoom in. Uh, and then what you want to do is you can just turn the wheels, whatever. And uh, I suggest what you want to do when you're taking a picture is pump the brake. So hold your finger on the S or the down arrow button as that uh, will make the ground light up a bit more in the back. And it will look a lot cooler, especially if you're taking pictures from the back of the car. So there you go. Uh, here's our first picture of the GT. And... Yeah, uh, sometimes your free cam, after you take a picture, gets really slow like this. I'm not sure why. I don't know how to fix it. Um, but yeah, when it does, just, you know, just whatever. Just get out of it and get back in. Okay, so now uh, let's go back here. Uh, hold up. Let me zoom out a little bit here. And there you go. So as you can see, the brakes, the brake lights do kind of make a difference here. Uh, they do make it, they do make it look a little bit different. And this is without brake lights. It's still decent, but like it looks brighter on the ground when you do uh, put the brake lights up, which is uh, which is nice. So you can go wherever you wish. It doesn't matter where you are. You just need to get like you need to zoom in, turn the wheels, do whatever you think would look good on the car. Uh, and try to always hold the brake lights, because even though you can't, you maybe didn't even see me turn them on, it does make the, all the difference when you take the picture. So let's see. This is what it looks like with the brake lights on, and then I'll come over here and turn them off. You can see how uh, less bright it looks back there, which is fine if you would like that, but 
I I would go always with the um with the extra the brake lights. So I mean it's your decision. You don't have to. It's it's whatever. So you get to also like decide what kind of angles you want to go at. Like you can go at any angle you wish. You could go all the way up here, you could go all the way down there on the ground, wherever you wish. Doesn't quite matter. So you can take a lot of pictures too, just to make sure that it's perfect, as you can see I'm doing here. Uh, problem with that is your storage sometimes gets filled up, so if you have like a thumb drive, try to put it on there. If you actually like all the pictures you have, put them on there. Put them on like a thumb drive for later at some day. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I also actually have some pictures that I've taken of other cars on screen after I take this picture. I'll have some pictures of other cars that I take on screen, and they, I mean, some of them are really nice. And if you actually haven't, I'll have a, a link to a couple of my edits up here. Not a link, but like a little icon up here to a couple of the edits I've made using these pictures. And they are, they turn out really well, you know, with the pictures. Uh, it also doesn't matter where you take the pictures too. Like, let me, let me get the car back on. Let's see, where, where's another good place we can go, uh, without dying onto the lag? Okay, um, uh, okay, let's maybe go, um, hmm, where would be a good place to go? Well, oh, maybe, maybe the drag strip, actually, maybe the drag strip would be a good place to go. There's not really anywhere else I can think of that this car would be good at. So I'm gonna go drive to the drag strip real quick, and, uh, we'll go take some more pictures of this car. Alright, so now we're over here at the drag strip, which, my goodness, I'm getting a lot of lag from. Uh, it would have been nice if maybe there wasn't this little tent right here, but, um, you can put your car even just over here and you'll get a decent picture out of it. Uh, I would like these, hold up, can I get these, like, lights to come on real quick? These little drag lights right here? I don't know how to get them to turn on. I've done it before, I just don't know why they're not turning on. There they go! Alright, so here would be, okay, so what you want to do maybe then is turn around like this, get your car kind of next to the drag lights. Can't tell, are, are they on? Hold up. Are they on? They're not on. Uh, I don't know how far away you have to be for them to be on, so hold up. Let me mess around till I get them to, like, turn on. Hopefully keep them on. They're not wanting to turn on, okay. Uh, I don't really know what to do then. What if I just drive over in this thing? Drive over in this thing. Now go, oh my gosh. Come back here, maybe. Then what? Okay, I guess it doesn't want to, but anyway. Uh, it doesn't quite matter where you go, as long as you still got the good angles, like this. You can still get- there we go. There we go, right there. There you go, you got a really awesome picture right there. There you go. I know I didn't really like do much because I was trying to get it really quick, but there you go. You had the you had the drag lights on perfectly, and it looked overall really nice. You just got to get the right angle and everything. But it doesn't really matter at all where you go, as long as you have a really nice angle, uh, a really nice. I guess you could go car too. Uh, it doesn't matter. You just you can take any good picture just by having a really nice angle and car. So let me. Let me try going, uh, up here. Let me try going up here, maybe. Like, up here. Yeah, for sure, over... Uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. Maybe let's go over here. Why not? And there we go. Perfect picture right there. Perfect picture right there. Oh, with the little free cam button down in the corner. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this picture a little bit weird. Look at that. There you go. So I think the drag lights just come on after a certain amount of time, but it doesn't matter. As long as you got a decent angle, you are you are pretty good. So let me get a let me get a there we go. Alright, so I'm gonna wait till those drag lights come back on, but um that's basically it. That's basically the best way to uh to take pictures in the game. I mean they turn out, as you will see, because uh, I'll have some more pictures up on screen of the GT that I've taken during this video. Uh, the, as you can see, the, these have turned out 
really nice, and it just, you gotta, you know, appreciate them. They look really nice. I mean, even if they don't look this nice when you first take them, you'll, you, you'll just get used to it. Eventually, you will get to, like, this, this, uh, good of pictures. I mean, if you, hold up, I'll have some pictures of, like, really old cars that I have, or really old pictures I have, uh, from Greenville, and we can tell that they don't really look the best. They're okay, but they're not the best. Eventually, over time, you'll, uh, hopefully be able to get up to this kind of skill level. It's very, it's very nice when you do, you get a, you get to appreciate the pictures more and the cars and everything, so, yeah, but that's basically it. Um, last thing, I do suggest doing these pictures mostly at night, as RoPro works better at night, obviously, as you can tell, the headlights, because, look, with no headlights or anything on, it's kind of like nothing. It's, eh, it's not that good. So, it'd be work, it'd work better if you try this at night, and, uh, it'd be better if you actually have in a private server where you can freeze time and change time, so if you do want to know the commands for that, it's just, uh, hit the plus or equal button, and do dot dot time, and then hit time, like press enter, then do dot dot time again, and this time put 20, which is 8 o'clock, and you will get 8 o'clock. Uh, then, what you, well, actually, you want to do this first, you want to go time freeze, and then if you later wish to unfreeze the time, you can go time unfreeze, I'm pretty sure that's the command, right? Yeah, there you go, time unfreeze, and it's unfrozen now. So, that's basically it. Uh, if this video did help you out, or if you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like and subscribe, it does help me out. And then don't forget to join my Discord down below, so you know when I post new videos like this one. That everyone, have a great day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.